Victoria's Secret ads and inside the lockers of high school boys all over the country. Here she is, the lovely Marissa Miller. Marissa? <laughs> I'm doing great. I'm doing better now. I like your band. You like the band, yeah. yeah. So they like stuff. you too. Yeah. <laughs> they really do. It's almost gross how much they like you. Uh, well, congratulations on the uh, Sports Illustrated and the Victoria's Secret where you work Thank as well. You. I mean, what a cool job to have. Yeah, I do. I have the best job in the world. Just it's take me through, take us through sort of, not really so much what your life is like, because that must be great, but like, uh, like one of these shoots. This is the Sports Illustrated, and I you're right you're here. Uh, good, because I, I don't. What's going on here? I don't know what happened there, honestly. It was, you know, we didn't even know if it was going to work. We started out, you know, it's a music issue. Let's use maybe an iPod mini or a Nano, which, you know, obviously. Yeah. I didn't know how that was going to work out. I so. would have, I'd like to see those photos. We have those right now. <laughs> well, we didn't go. I mean, I was glad it wasn't the new shuffle, which is like the size of a quarter. So. <laughs> But so we had a video iPod, and yes. um, we didn't know, you know, if it was going to work or look awkward. But mm -hmm. we probably only took a <laughs> we probably only took a roll of that, and of course it ends up opening the magazine, which I was really embarrassed. I Did told you know this was going to be? Uh, no. This is sports. So this is like a huge magazine. Yeah. Obviously, you're a huge model. But is this a surprise to you? Do you yeah. know? Yeah. No, you don't. You don't know how many pictures are going to make it. What's going to make it? And then when I saw that. I was like, Dad, just skip over the first two pages, go right into the middle. You what, know? Did your dad, what does your parents think of these photos? Here's I mean, another one here. <laughs> this looks like you're wearing little shorts and a t-shirt, but this is actually paint, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it, yeah, it's paint. What do your parents think about this? What did Dad say? Again? Um, I mean, my dad and I we're really close, but we don't really talk about yeah. you know in detail. He's like, oh, honey, looks great. I'm proud of you, and then we talk about something else. You right? Know? Yeah, but yeah. Probably good, he, like football and stuff. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but my my mom is definitely responsible for you know getting all the magazines because my dad, you know, being the proud father, he uh, would go to the magazine store and he was getting like a cover of Shape I was on or something and. He had like a stack of like four or five of them, and the lady at the checkout counter was just looking at him like he was a total pervert. And he's like, "I swear, I swear, it's my daughter." And That's they're like, daughter. "Uh huh, yeah, right." Yeah. You know? So it's my That's mom's the job now to get that. that. Yeah. Where are you? You're from Santa Cruz, California. Yeah, Northern California. And how did you? How do you? How did you get into modeling? Um. Well, <laughs> being from Northern California, you're totally unaware of the entertainment industry or that I didn't even know modeling was a career or something that I could do. So right, very mellow part of California. Yeah, very hippie. Very hippie. hippie. Yeah, my mom hates when I say that, but right. it is. It's well, very a lot hippie. of weed. We know that. <laughs> Not that you partake in that, but that's no, the area. No, yeah, Humboldt yeah, County. Exactly. It's very exactly. prominent. Joe, please. Um, <laughs> Yeah. So uh, when I when I went to <laughs> when I went to Southern California, you know, I'm sure a lot of girls get approached. Did they just scoop you up? Were you like walking in a mall, like that typical no, story where you were buying a Slurpee no, and there was I, a honestly, Frenchman who was like, "Who called me? I <laughs> make you a big star." No, I, I had a couple of Come those. Come to my guys. flat. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> No, and, and that's what I thought. I had this idea that modeling was kind of that, you know, stereotype, and I wanted nothing to do with it. So um, when I was surfing in Manhattan Beach, a uh, very big photographer, Mario Testino, he came up to me, yeah. and he approached me, and I had no idea what a big photographer he was. So I kind of got lucky and went through the back door that way. God bless you. Well, it worked <laughs> out all right. And this is what, uh, this is the Victoria's Secret catalog. How really did you get that? My favorite read. This isn't out yet. This is great. I haven't even seen that. That's well, awesome. I'll give you one if you're nice. <laughs> I order these to my house. I order them. I really do. I order. Well, for research, I'm sure. Yeah, I get five. <laughs> one for every room. I just put them all over. And this is the bra? Like, what's the deal with the bra this here? Is, OK, this is from the Body by Victoria collection. And it's called the Full Coverage Uplift. Right, which is this. You actually were nice enough to bring one, right? That's mine. Where did you Wait, get that? Yeah, right. <laughs> That's what I'm wearing. Yeah, I know. What, 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 is, what is this bra? Like? OK. <laughs> So, so I'll show you. Pay I'll be right with you. Pay attention. <laughs> okay. Here it so is. For a guy like we see the commercials of Victoria's Secret, we don't care what you're selling. You guys look amazing. 
But there seems to be this emphasis towards women, like, oh, this is the bra, the wonder bra, it's got the wire, it pushes you up, it's it great. It like, just explain to guys, like, the okay. technology behind okay. this. Because you have, like, your cell phones and gadgets and things, you, your cars you get stoked on. For us, it's this, because this is something that we wear every day. And what is so great about this bra versus okay. one I just, if I went into, like, the bra store and I got for 10 bucks? I'll tell you. Okay. okay. This, is, this is full coverage. Yes, so, it is. So it's full coverage. And it gives you that support. And women who, you know, wear a larger cup size, sometimes the bras, as they get bigger, they kind of get a little bit more, you know, ugly and like a grandma bra. Yeah, you yeah. Know? So they came up with, I mean, this is really cute and sexy, and it gives a lot of support. I'm heating up. I'm you getting know? hot. I really, it's like I'm in fifth grade right now, I swear to God. I have to stand up. I'm in No, but, uh, it, but it is. It's, 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 no, go ahead. Go ahead. Seriously. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is the new stuff, the new technology, yeah, good support. It is, and it also has an infinity edge. Right. So what that means is if you're wearing like a tight fitting top, right. you get a smooth silhouette so you know you can't see the bra where you start and the bra begins. Right. And you know, for girls it's like you don't want bunching and you know things like that, right? Girls? Right. That, yeah. Girls, you like that? Is that good? Is that worth All right. Well good. Did you learn something? It feels to me, Marissa, honestly, that like just chicks nowadays just aren't wearing bras. Really? Yeah. Well, I definitely do. Are you wear wearing bras. one right now? Well, mine's kind of built into my dress, <laughs> and I definitely I like support. You know, yeah. I, I definitely. You know, <laughs> well, we I, all I like, do, I think. Yeah. I think we all appreciate that. Yeah, I definitely. You know, I wear these all the time. So. And how is the Victoria's Secret gig? I mean, this is. It seems like there's like five girls, and it's just the quintessential modeling job. It's like everybody, yeah. this is the pinnacle. Yeah. Well, how long well, have you worked for them and how'd you? Well, I started out working in the catalog for like five years, but I just did like the jeans and sweaters. So, and I really, I wanted to do a bra. I was like, I swear I can do it, you know? Yeah. And so after like a year and a half, <laughs> I can, I, I really can. You know, we, we believe you. <laughs> so, Turns out you can. <laughs> They had to reshoot a bra, and I happened to be on set, and so they put it on me, and you know, I could sell some bras, certainly, I guess. Certainly. So and that's kind of you know my mainstay now is doing swim and lingerie. And which you did is the commercial favorite. with Heidi Klum, I saw yeah. for this bra. Yeah. How was that? Was that fun? It was so amazing. It was my first commercial, so I was really nervous, and it's a big deal. I didn't know what to expect, and Heidi is like. I was totally starstruck, so I didn't know what it was going to be like that day, and she was so sweet, and she's a pro, and so, and it was great. We just got to be spontaneous and play around all day, and um, it was it was awesome, and it just came out yesterday. Yeah, so. it's great. Can I have that or no, honestly? Do you want this? Yeah. Okay, all right. Thank you very much. Marissa Miller, everybody. Victoria's Secret, Sports Illustrated. The, um, Body by Victoria Bra, available now at Victoria's Secret. Thank you for being here. We'll be right back with Maria Digby right after this. These are the best of times at the best time of all.